Hey, how's it going, Al? Falcon Ash K here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing a uh, Disney pin unlatching. Um, my wife and I are heavy Disney pin collectors, or enamel pin collectors, I should say. Uh, I have a wide variety of different pins I'm going to show off today. Um, I'll show you one of my boxes that I have. This is going to make other pin collectors cringe the way I store my box pins in little containers the Plano box way. Um, this fantastic sticker is made by uh, Miss Made Lynn Gifts. I'll put a link in below. Uh, it's Castlevania but it looks like the Disney castle. It's fantastic. I am an old uh, uh, Castlevania fan and uh, that's fantastic. Um, yep, a lot of these pins you're gonna see me <laughs> linking a lot of Etsy stores because Etsy does a lot of uh, fantasy pins so you're going to see pins that are semi-Disney related or uh, other other styles of pins that are related. Um, I'm going to show off my lanyard first. Lanyards are a way to show off your bling when you're in the uh, uh, Magic Kingdom or, you know, uh, Disney World itself. Sometimes I wear these to special events, um, doing Extra Life, Extra Life event that I did uh, last year, coming up in November. Uh, I'll be probably wearing the same lanyard. Start off, I got um, Pisces, Little Mermaid, because I am a Pisces. I love the water. We got a tturtle.com. This is a little Cthulhu. Um, uh, Disney uh, Darth Vader. We're going to have another Disney banner. This is one of the uh, fake pins. Fake pins, or... Uh, um, Scrapper pins, a link to uh, Zippity Doo Disney, and uh, she'll show you a video. Well, she's done a video about fake pins and, and uh, trading in the park. Uh, my wife and I uh, bought some Disney pins on eBay before we knew that they were fake pins, and uh, now we know, and knowing is half the battle. And then we have this one, uh, it's a Transformer. Uh, DJD Decepticon by Le uh, Leibowitz. Um, she does a lot of nerdy pins. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what we got over here? <laughs> uh, Yoda. He's a Vinylmation uh, pin. Disney. Uh, purple Disney pin. Uh, Mickey, they have different um, ranges of different um, emotions and different colors. Purple is my favorite color. And green. Uh, gamer pin. It looks like video games and stuff like that, but I'm also a, a board gamer, so that's pretty cool. That's also another Tea Turtle uh, pin. Um, Star Wars. Um, they had a pin collection of, of these. You can buy the whole set for once. And one. And that's that for the lanyard. You'll see on the back I have lockbacks. Um little Allen wrenches that you can make sure you don't lose your pins. An excellent way to start collecting uh, and keeping them there. Let's pop it open. I'm going to start with the top section and work my way down. So up here we're going to have uh, like an emoji pin. Boba Fett. Again you can tell it's a Disney pin by Disney Backs and if you look on the back there's usually like a waffle print uh, style of, of Mickey Mouse heads um, and then it has the official Disney pin trader uh, logo the newer pins actually have a little uh, <laughs> stamp on the bottom so you know that they are not scrappers or fakes unless I just showed this video and now people are gonna start faking these pins all right uh, another cool Darth Vader pin Disney should I do that should I do a, uh, <laughs> a Disney pin backing thing um, they had a whole collection of different um, uh, Star Wars Star Wars pins, Star 
Stormtrooper pins, that's what they're called, with different uh, patterns. I have a few of them in my collection. So this one's actually got the Imperial, like, uh, waffling on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, they had uh, Moji style R2-D2. Remember, you can always pause the video if they if you don't see have a good look look on them. Uh, Han Solo, old captain of the Millennium Falcon himself. Well, actually, that's the older, newer. You know what I mean. They had a limited edition Disney uh, Easter egg style Darth Vader egg. So that's pretty cool. Um, Wally, like an emoji pin. That's kind of cool. Hopefully these are focusing, because I'd hate to have these not focused. Captain Marvel before she was Marvel. Uh, in the movie theaters, I should say. Captain Marvel. In her uh, red attire. Not red and blue, but just red. Going binary. The King from Aladdin. He's pretty cool. Green Goblin. Official Disney pin. Uh, they acquired the rights for Marvel and they've been doing a mag magnificent job on the movies. Iron Man. Sometimes I can go and look on the back and tell you what limited edition they are or how many were in the thing or what number he is, but I'm not wearing my glasses. You wouldn't want to see me wearing my glasses. Uh, the Phoenix, a.k.a. Rebellion symbol. It's actually got a little... Um, little thing... You would see Sabine Wren spray paint this on a lot of the uh, Imperial walls in the uh, Rebel series. Luke Skywalker. Pilot. You can see him in uh, Empire Strikes Back taking out a, an at, -AT or sometimes they call them AT-ATs. It's a, it's, a, it's a controversy on that one. Princess Leia. Yep. She came in the same set of the other sets of the other uh, ones that have the same style. Uh, the Jedi. I was quizzed one time by Duffy's uh, uh, handler and I had a, a, a shirt that had all the symbols for the Star Wars trilogy and he asked me about the Jedi one and I blanked out I'm like is that the rebel one alright I'll break this down into a bunch of different videos they all fit in pretty good Tron Hopefully that comes through on the character, on the uh, camera. It's got a double pin post. Because it's, it's got much weight to it. New York City. Yes, limited edition. New York City. Not limited edition. I don't know if it's limited edition. LZLE? I know it's a technical pin trader. Um, these are one of the uh, common ones that you'll find in New York City. It doesn't have the waffle pattering, but it is official Disney. Um, it doesn't say Disney Pin Trader, but it just says official Walt Disney. Uh, what do we got here? Yoda in the same style as the other uh, Han Solo, um, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker. Strong Jedi, yes, yes. Hmm.
another stormtrooper. And the results of the poll for the five votes that I got for the uh, next video, it's going to be a upgrade kit for the other uh, for Carcassonne, Star Realm, Smash Up, Dixit, uh, King of Tokyo, Elder Sign, and Pandemic Games. Because I gave a poll um, of who wanted to see me do voices for Transformers, uh, card game, or upgrade kits for um, those games. And 80% said they wanted to see the upgrade kits. So I will be doing that as my next video. Uh, first day that my wife and I stayed down there when she was a girlfriend was Pop Sentry. So this is a Pop Sentry pin. Uh, hold on, does it spin? Which part spins? Why isn't it pin? Oh yeah, it's a spinner. So it's got the different parts Parts of the parks. Come on, spin. Why? Oh, it's this part. I got it. It's doing it. It's doing it. So it's got the different uh, aspects of the park itself. It's pretty cool. Anytime you stay at Disney, always remember, try to get the places you stay or the places you've gone to. Uh, we collect Disney pins because it's a way to remember where we were. Um, and also, uh, it, I mean, they're they're sturdy. Jabba the Hutt emoji. Or just Sum Sum. That's what they are. Sum Sums. Um, pins are, are everlasting. You take care of them. There's a lot of pin traders in the, in the uh, thing. All right, so here is um, one from Hot Top Gets by Loungefly. Uh, and here you have um, Harry Potter Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Go to Pottermore. Take the test. Find out what school you are. Uh, what the uh, uh, house you belong to. Uh, my wife is Hufflepuff. And these are what they call rack pins. The other ones come in packs of uh, five. Um, and rack pins, uh, you're going to see them all around the park on a rack. That makes sense. So this is a um, Nightmare Before Christmas. It says uh, The Man of Your Screams. That's funny. Uh, also in the park, when, you, when you're when you walking around, Magic Kingdom, always go to the firehouse first and ask to play the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. They'll give you a pack of five cards that are collectible cards. You can go around different places, and uh, uh, this is the medal for that. Um, you can play a little game defeating different uh, villains that are around the park. Every time you go in, you're going to get a free pack of cards. If you go with multiple people... Have them scan their magic band or, uh, you know, ticket to the world, whatever, however you're doing Disney. And, uh, uh, I should take this out of the plastic. This is the, uh, old one. Uh, and so you can play that game. If you want to take it home with you, you know what, I'm going to rip this. Rip it. Going into it. Plastic can be recycled. Uh, this is the four parks. I want to take it off the, the pin post to tell you what year this was. Gosh, just says Disney China. Back in the day, they had the Tower of Terror. Uh... Oh, this is just studios, Hollywood Studios. Never mind. I resend all that. Um, they had the hat and the um, big wand in the center where you did the pin trading or pin um, collector thing. They've taken down the ears since then, and they put up a, a um, uh, what do they call those? A stage for the Star Wars events, which is fantastic. If you have a chance, stop by. It's also got the uh, Great Movie Ride, too. Ooh, that's scary. Great Movie Ride's gone because they're put, putting up a, a uh, Disney um, Mickey Mouse. What do they call that? Uh, 
blah, 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 Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse doing um picnic. Uh, this was a pin. If you bought thirty-five dollars, it's not the right backing though. Uh, thirty-five dollars worth of pins. It's upside down, right side up. Um, they give you a pin, free pin for thirty-five dollars or more if you bought pins, and the money that you bought the pin for will go towards the Animal Foundation or uh, rescue. Uh, helping out the um, one world, one choice, one you. Uh, thanks for purchase of this pin, which is not this pin. Um, <laughs> and it went towards uh, helping animals. It was fantastic. Uh, as I subs uh, we subscribe to Magic at Your Door. Here's another enamel pin that we just got for the. Um, Magic at your door. Double pin post. Fantastic uh, Disney logo style. It's pretty cool. I'm a fan of Genie. Not the new Genie that's coming out. Some people have that and also controversy. Uh, hello ladies, here I am. Man of your dreams. Um, <laughs> oh, here I am. What are your other two wishes? So that's pretty cool. Am I doing enough good job uh, zooming in on those guys? Zooming in. Showing them up close. Um, this also was a big, big uh, thing back in the day. This you can tell it says limited edition on it. Um, the Enchanted movie, which didn't do good reviews. Uh, I liked it. it. It's definitely a Disney movie. So that's pretty cool. Here's another look at that that pin, but up close, it's got a um, shininess to it. Um, this is Art of Animation, the Magic Disney Animation. It's got Mickey drawing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and if you watch Saturday Night Live, I'm a fan of, uh, The Chronicles of what? Narnia. Yeah, that's a good skit. Um, so there's Narnia, and then you flip around, it's got a spinning aspect, so you can have, uh, Aslan on the back. Aslan, the lion. Uh, Duffy. Duffy was big in, in, uh, uh, Epcot um, and Disney for a while but he just fizzled out but here's Duffy with Aladdin hat on or different styles of hats that I have um, here's Duffy with the Mad Hatter hat so that's pretty cool and hmm it's a chaser with a Peter Pan hat. Chasers usually have no colors in them, and they're usually the last of the um, series of that style of pin. I'll do one more, one more uh, box, and that will end the video, and then I'll do another three for the next video, and another three for the next video. I also have another box over there of pin Disney pins. Um, Wicket W. Warwick, played by Warwick Davis. Zoom zoom. I always thought that was funny. Uh, Star Tours. This is one of the first pins that Star Tours came out with. I was enamored by uh, Star Tours when I first went on it. Now, if you go on it, it's random. It takes you wherever they want to take you because it's um, perpetual. It is on a random track so you can go in you'll start one location go to other places and land somewhere else sometimes the same place uh, this is part of the set of the other um, uh, the BB-8 other set of pins that I have that will go with that and for a while they were they were selling Disney pins but they're actually pin pins like button pins and they're pieces of the comic book that they've put onto uh, the cardboard. 
and they were selling those in the in the actual parks. Here's another part of that set uh, with BB-8 and the X-wing that I showed previously on my uh, lanyard. This guy's getting really dark. R2D2. I should hold it by the pin. Pin back. Yeah, so these pins that you'll see here were part of a sticker collection that came out at the same time all six of these were available. So, on my glass case, I have those stickers. Here's another uh, SD or super deformed version of Yoda. Master Yoda. Strong am I with a force, but not that strong. Sicker I become, old and weak. Uh, this is, um, I want to say Count Dooku. General Grievous's ride. General Grievous. I can. Is it upside down? You know, if you don't wear glasses, you can't see nothing. Oh, no, it's just an Imperial fighter. TIE fighter. Yeah, it's a TIE fighter. If you look real close, it's a TIE fighter. And another Princess Leia. I got me a trader for next time I go down to Disney. And I believe there's another Luke Skywalker somewhere in here. Uh, funny story, right? So, I had a mini, uh, here's another Chewbacca, part of that, uh, uh, set. I don't know which story to tell you first, Chewbacca or the Princess Leia one. So, I had a mini, um, <clears throat> Princess Leia pin. I went to the park, and a gentleman traded me that, and I traded him for that Disney, uh, the, the mini he came back later and gave me another uh, C-3PO, or R2-D2. Man, Luke Skywalker. So Luke Skywalker and uh, Princess Leia for the same trade for that one mini dressed as Princess Leia. And here's a cupcake. Cupcake, but it's Pluto. It was some kind of edible uh, set that they came out with. And, um, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. So, uh, a lot of times people will say, hey, you know, do your best Chewbacca impression. And Chewbacca's voice is done by, like, a mountain lion, a bear, and a camel. Like, those three animals put together make Chewbacca's voice. And a lot of times people do the gargle. It's like, brrr, brrr. It, it, I can't say it annoys me, but it, that's their, their best try at trying to do Chewbacca. I, on the other hand, uh, people that do voices, uh, you gotta sound like a bear, so it's like... And when he gets angry, it's like... Um, and he's sad. He also sounds like a, uh, you know... A, like a, a sad camel. Like, <laughs> That's not sad camel. Like the camels or the... You know, that kind of thing. Anyway, that's my Chewbacca. I can do a little better, but I'm just giving you examples of why I don't like the people going... That's Chewbacca. Yep. No. Chewbacca doesn't growl. I mean, gurgle. Um, hope you like my video. Like, subscribe, subscribe share... Um, find me on Twitter at Falcon Ash. That's A S H E. Uh, find me on Facebook, Falcon Ash K. Um, I'm gonna try to set up a Facebook, I mean, a uh, email account. Uh, I will link those people that I've described today for the pins below linked, especially trying to find out about which pins are fake. Uh, thank you. That's my story. Have a good day.